Summer Selfie Adventure Guide. What is up? I am going to be talking about one of my favorite pieces in my portfolio, in my printed portfolio. And this is the Summer Selfie Adventure Guide. I work for a developer in Central Florida and a big part of that company is building and selling homes in a location known as Lake Nona. And it's actually a master planned community that's focused on health and well-being. And we really love to engage our residents in this suburbia of Lake Nona. And part of that is creating fun collateral that we can print and have available for all the residents in the Lake Nona Info Center. You know, imagine when you're going to look for a home, you go to the info center and they have brochures about the neighborhood and the location. Yes, we have all of that, but we also have some fun things such as event calendars. And this was a extra special piece that we used to engage the residents called the Summer Selfie Adventure Guide. And I did submit the 2019 version of this Summer Selfie Adventure Guide to the American Advertising Awards, also commonly known as the Addies. And I'm very proud to say that this won a silver award and I'm not gonna take credit for the entire concept of this piece. You know, I worked with an amazing team for us to come up with this really fun idea of this project, but I did have the opportunity to design this entire thing by myself, which was so fun and we decided to submit it for an Addy Award and it won silver. So I'll actually go through my submission and show you, you know, what I wrote, how I took photography of this, which is a very important piece of submitting for an award. And just show you the whole process of how this came to be and how I applied for an award and won a silver. So we wanted to create a piece that was both informational and engaging to the community. So engaging in the way that we're actually giving them a call to action. We're giving them, you know, ways to have fun, get out there during the summer, do fun things, and also promoting Lake Nona through social media, through hashtags, through tagging our social media and other people taking photos of locations in Lake Nona and then, you know, sharing those across social media so that we gain a little bit of popularity and acknowledgement. So, wanted to create something fun and whimsical, very summer vibes, very, you know, whimsical and creative in a way for people to actually want to look at this. Like you want to create something that someone's going to see on a table because that's where we had it in the information center. And you want people to pick this up, open it, be interested. So it's really important to engage the viewer with some interesting illustrations, you know, we have illustrations of so many different events, locations, and art pieces in Lake Nona. We wanted this to be a really easy, like, to-go size if someone is walking around Lake Nona and they wanted to participate in the Summer Selfie Challenge, then this would be small enough to fit in a purse, fit in a pocket, you know, super easy to carry around. And I really love how it's an actual map on one side, like an aerial map. And then on the other side is more of an illustrative checklist showing off, you know, all the different art pieces in Lake Nona. We did promote this summer selfie adventure guide for two years 
and this was the second year that we did it. And I actually used this coral color for 2019 because that was the color of the year in Pantone for 2019 was that living coral color. So wanted to make use of that. And I think a really big part of applying for awards is obviously the photography that you're taking of your piece because yes, you're submitting in an actual printed piece of you know your actual item and submitting that to them and mailing that to them, but it's really important to have a good photography selection for them to flip through while they're looking at this to really prove that, you know, not only does this look good in person, this photographs well, and that's quite important. And to be able to photograph and sort of talk about exactly what your piece is, is really going to make a difference when you're applying for an award. and. I think that helped out with this winning a silver. And I'll go through and talk about my actual submission and what I wrote and how I photographed all of these and what the process was for exactly submitting this for an award. So we started out in 2018 with the Summer Selfie Adventure Guide and we wanted to choose a bright color that reflected summer. So what's better than a sort of turquoise teal color to sort of show off the watery pool aspect of summer. That's sort of the concept for this color. So it's sort of like a pool blue, you know, beautiful water that you want to jump into during summer. And we wanted this to be really whimsical, really fun. So created a lot of line drawings, a lot of hand lettering, to really show off the different locations and the different art pieces in Lake Nona. So you could see on the cover here, when you first take a look, there is hand lettering. Let me actually show you both. And these are slightly varying from year to year, but generally have the same look and feel. Um, this one we wanted to go with a black ink on the color paper and thought that that would be an interesting sort of look. And then this is a coral ink with uh, white to sort of get the contrast. You can see starting off with the summer selfie hashtag and the hand lettering to give off a sort of whimsical fun vibe along with a few little icons to really show off, you know, what's about to be the style that's inside of this map itself. And then on the back, we have the same styles um, I really love this one, this little winking guy right here. So fun. And a little peace sign with a little phone, you know, telling you who to tag, telling you what tag to use, and also showing off the website along with some of our branding right here, which is part of the Lake Nona logo. And we wanted to go with an uncoated paper for this because coated versus uncoated, first of all, I feel like coated is, a little old school at this point and don't get me wrong it works great for some things but i feel like right now the it's sort of more on trend to do uncoated and it feels a little bit less tacky to do uncoated though coated would be good for usability because if you're going to be carrying this around with you and putting it in your pocket or opening it and reopening it coated would be a little tougher and maybe last a little bit longer but just the feeling of this uncoated paper, I think makes it feel a little bit more casual and less corporate, which was, you know, a big part of the design and style of this piece because this is a more casual, fun, whimsical piece. And I think uncoated paper really reflects the nature of that. So front and back, and this sort of thicker paper really holds together the map and sort of protects the inside so that when you fold it back down, it um, you know stays together and is a little bit more protected. So the first step to opening this up is you're gonna fold it out like this and it goes right into the simple directions for how to complete the challenge. And it shows that you can check off the you know, location because each part of the map has a check mark for you to check off if you've been to that location. And then once you are at the location, you take a selfie and it tells you who to tag so that we can, you know, see that you actually went to each location. And if you complete the entire map, 
or whoever is playing completes the most locations on this. There was a prize, you can see here, post to win. There was a prize for those really cool vintage Viewmaster toys. Those ones that sort of have the little card, circular card that you can throw in there and click and look into a light and you see the images. And we had this really sweet boy who played the Summer Selfie Adventure Guide and he won because he got most of the locations. And we gifted him with a Viewmaster of all of his selfies that he posted and tagged us in. So that was the fun prize for this. So you could see here, open it up and we have a fun illustrated map. And this is showing off art locations in Lake Nona. It's showing off events and it's showing off our most popular go-to locations. You know, we thought it was important to include tongue-in-cheek coffee, you know, not something that was overboard, but something that sort of meshed with the tonality of the piece, which is, you know, fun, summer. So just some fun little things that we threw in here. Every selfie counts. True. Including this fun little guy here. You know, little winking face on the phone. Tag all your Lake Nona selfies on Instagram, showing off these little angels with tags. Adorable. On the back of the map is an actual aerial map so that when you're driving around, you could kind of find the icons that relate to each location on the other side so that you know where you're going because the Lake Nona area is a little large. So most of this stuff is centered in a general location, but some of these things do span across this entire map. So it was important to make sure that people were able to find these locations, not just on their phone or looking it up, but that we were able to provide that for them to, you know, see where everything is. Summer Selfie Adventure Guide.